hello friends today i'm going to show you how to get the job status uh, for all the uh, for multiple servers so here i have done one of the uh, user requirement how to uh, get the dynamically the server name and how i need to include server name in the report so that's all went good the, in the third requirement what if I want to run this report for multiple servers, either it could be like number of 20 or number of 10. So I cannot click each individual HTML file to go through this report, right? So that is one of the concern. Okay, for that, what I have done is you can use this report like n number of ways. So just replace the SQL query and just edit the code, uh, like whatever the, I will tell the logic how you need to modify okay here we do two things how we need to generate for multiple files and how we can use this code same with another example as well okay this H this code uh, has been uh, will generate individual html files if you had that kind of requirement then uh, this script will uh, help you to achieve your files so as of now there is no html files this is my server list okay and if i double, uh, execute this okay it got completed now uh, lenovo like named instance default instance double click on that see how i used to get this one now this one right okay now i got this but if i have multiple uh, servers so i cannot click on html file so for that this script will help you to achieve your requirement you just double click on that you will get one report combined report or you can later you can name or you can name it as a consolidator uh, daily job status report like that see this is how you used to get okay so this is the report uh, how you used to get uh, okay now I think it just border some no no issues okay we will check the later okay this is how we used to get the report okay and so now this is the same logic this is the same logic here so first of all you get the timestamp and everything right so this is the HTML tag everything you can uh, style whatever you want okay and something here uh, provider is same here you need to replace the your t sql code up to here okay and these are all like same okay here i am generating if you have color statement that's good okay and for example uh, in my data here uh, i want to uh, job status is there in job status whatever value it will be there for enable it has to be display in the green color right so now uh, I'm taking the job status uh, variable and in the, I'm reading the data here slash, uh, slash dollar row is equal to the job. So after that I'm um, enable enable. Uh, okay, so why because I already written all the colors here if it is fail. So I'm applying the fail. For example, uh, there is a never right here if i do never like see in this column we also never never is there in this column also never is there in this column also never is there in this column also we have never is there wherever never is there it will apply for all the levels so now what i am doing here is i am filled reading each row and switching to that okay you just go and put the data for each then if you want for more uh, another row you just copy this three lines last and come here and paste it and you can edit accordingly and after that you have to edit this as well okay so that's it the remaining same just you need to edit the title job name job status and everything that's it okay so this is how you there's no need to do anything here okay this is how you can modify your uh, t sql code and html code and you can represent that most uh, html report look more beautiful and also as you can modify as per your requirement so this is one of the use case i hope you may like this video thank you